Hi, I'm Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. So I know I didn't record yesterday and I know I normally have been posting, or at least lately, I've been posting a video every day. Um, yesterday I was in a weird mood, I didn't feel like posting anything. I guess I'm getting a little, like, discouraged I guess. Um, because I'm not getting as many views and likes as I would like, but I'm still going to continue and do my videos, of course, just because I know I'm getting so uncomfortable in front of the camera, and I don't want to stop now. So, of course, I'm going to start off by picking up my Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Acne Wipes, and let me tell you, since I've started using these wipes, I do not break out as bad as I did, so yes, we're using it. <laughs> Now that I have cleaned my face, I'm going to be doing primer, applying primer, not doing primer. I'm going to be applying primer and I'm going to pick up my Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Base Mattifying Primer. Okay, now that I've applied primer all over my face, I'm going to be picking up my Maybelline Fit Me New Look Dewy Plus Smooth Normal to Dry Skin. This is for normal to dry skin. This is not skin. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. In this shade 118 Light Beige. And I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and apply it with my finger. Now I'm going to be picking up my Sephora Beauty Blender and blending out all that foundation. Now that my foundation is evenly applied all over my face, I'm going to be picking up my Infallible Pro Glow L'Oreal Concealer. And I'm going to be applying it under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my chin, my forehead. Picking up my Sephora Beauty Blender and blending out all that concealer. applied my concealer and my foundation I'm gonna be picking up my airspun loose face powder aka setting powder and I'm going to be setting my concealer I'm gonna be setting under my eyes my nose my chin and my forehead okay now as I let the setting powder set I am going to be picking up my CoverGirl Lid Lock, of course, and applying it to my lids. Okay, now that all that is done, I'm going to be picking up my MAC Eyebrow Brush and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Powder and begin to fill in my eyebrows. Of course, we're going to fast forward. My eyebrows are filled in. I'm going to be picking up my Sephora flat brush and my matte concealer and define my brows. Now 
now that I've added the concealer, I'm gonna be picking up my Wet n Wild flat brush and blending out all that concealer. Okay, now that brows are done, I'm gonna be picking up my Tarte fluffy brush and wiping off all that excess powder. That powder is gone. I'm going to be picking up my Sephora eyebrow brush and brushing out those eyebrows. Okay, now I'm going to be picking up my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to be picking up my Sephora Pro Blending number 27 and I'm going to start off by dipping into. Hold on, because I got to read what this is. I will be dipping into Silk Cream as my transition color. color is packed on, I'm going to be picking up my Morphe M447 brush and blend that out. Okay, I cannot get this eyeshadow off of the freaking inside of my eyeball. Okay, now that the teal is put on my eyeball, I'm going to be picking up my Morphe M433 brush and dipping into Abyss, which is this darker shade right here, and just applying it to the outer corner and blending it to the middle. Now picking up my M447 brush and just blending that together. Okay, now that my eye is done, I'm going to be picking up my Sephora flat brush. This is not the same one that I used earlier. This is another one. And I'm going to be dipping back into that teal color and applying it to my bottom lash line. Okay, now picking up my Maybelline white eyeliner and applying it to my waterline. Okay, now I'm going to be picking up my Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner and applying it to my top uh, lash line. Techniques a uh, small precise brush literally look how little it is <laughs> and dipping back into that Jaclyn Hill palette and dipping into B. One eye is done, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I'm just gonna fast forward it.
Okay, now that eyes are done, I'm gonna be picking up Dallas from Benefit and my Real Techniques blush brush and contour. Now that contour and blush is on, I'm going to pick up my Airspun setting powder and my Sephora Beauty Blender and set under my contour. Okay, now for highlight, I'm going to be picking up my Pretty Vulgar in the shade Shimmering Swan with my... I just dropped it. <laughs> my Tarte Fluffy Brush. Okay, now I'm going to be picking up my Tarte Fluffy Brush and just wiping off all that excess powder. I'm going to be picking up the same Tarte Fluffy Brush and highlighting my cheekbones. And to finish off this look, I'm going to be picking up my NYX Matte Lipstick in the shade 24. And this is the finished look. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.